Farmers and vendors, are you ready to get growing at the Sunday market? Yeah! Just three weeks ago, this former boiler warehouse in Barrio Logan was empty and dirty. With a fresh coat of paint, this 92,000 square foot property is the home of San Diego's first public market. It's crazy that San Diego didn't have one. We have a year-round growing season. We have a really vibrant food scene, and this is a perfect place for it. It's, it's incredible that it hadn't been done before. A public market means there will eventually be permanent stalls for food sellers. That will open in the spring of next year. Until then, a farmer's market will be held here every Wednesday and Sunday. The warehouse can hold up to 88 vendors, selling everything from fresh produce to gluten-free cookies. Well, we have several different varietals that we produce. David Foster grows olives that he uses to turn into olive oil for his family business. He says San Diego's Mediterranean-like climate is perfect for growing olive trees. Well, we start harvesting the olive trees in the fall, and depending on uh, conditions, weather conditions, uh, that could happen anywhere from the end of October all the way through the beginning of the year. Uh, we want to catch the trees when they're at uh, the right amount of ripeness. Shoppers and foodies stroll the aisles, listening to live music and taking advantage of all of the tasting options. I'm going to get mussels, haven't done that yet, bread. Saw some amazing gazpacho soup I had a sample of. Couldn't wait to do that. There's flowers, of course. Linda Firestein drove down from Del Mar for the opening. It's so overdue. I go to a lot of the other farmer markets around. Um, some of them are better than others. Sometimes the vendors change. They come and go. So you never really know what's going to be there. So I think this is encouraging, and it's bigger than all the other ones. The founders of the public market set up a Kickstarter campaign in August to fund the building's renovation. They raised $146,000, well above their $92,000 goal. This is such a big community thing, and everybody that saw the Kickstarter or pledged to the Kickstarter tended to put it out on their Facebook. Now that the first phase is underway, White and her partner Dale Steele have to decide who gets a permanent stall in the market. A lot of San Diegans have shown interest. We've actually taken a lot of folks on tour down here, everything from microbreweries to um, the guys from Tender Greens that want to do salumi and the, the woman that owns Venissimo Cheese that wants to come actually make cheese on site. Barrio Logan, where the market is located, is sometimes called a food desert. Steele says the market will help bolster the surrounding community. There needs to be healthy food options, affordable healthy food options here. The small businesses here need some buoying. And, uh, and, and we're, we're very excited to be able to do that. It's certainly an ideal time to launch a public market. There are literally twice as many, actually more than twice as many farmers markets in the area than when I started this, this concept. And, uh, and people really uh, see food as recreation. It's one of the things that, that, uh, that sort of goes along with every other thing that you do on a, on a date or, or a night out with your family. The market's new mascot was also a hit. There are plans to hold a contest to name the cow and give it a fresh coat of paint before the grand opening of the San Diego Public Market next spring.